I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Now, um, you might notice that uh, this is a bit of a different type of video that I don't normally make on this channel, but um, I think I'm gonna try something new and I'm gonna enjoy it. So yeah. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give out some of my unpopular opinions on just about anything, like movies, food, just about anything. You know, if you have any unpopular opinions, let me know down in the comments below. So, anyway... My first unpopular opinion that I would like to mention is that the 1964 Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Christmas special sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just a couple years ago I watched it and I realized, you know, this movie kind of sucks. Like, I can't remember, like... And many of like the details of it, uh, I do remember it sucking, pretty bad, like, like really bad, like like a like like a fish, like how a fish sucks. Where sucks like how Kirby sucks. Yeah, like, like the animation's crappy. There's a whole lot of stuff that like was not explained, and there's a lot of cringe-worthy, meme-worthy moments. So, yeah. Another one of my unpopular opinions is that I genuinely like hot pockets. Yeah, it's just I know it's just like oh, hot pockets just nasty, like. I don't know, maybe it's because I have terrible taste in food, but I never found Hot Pockets that bad, like, I mean, they're, they're okay in my book, I mean, I mean, like, this pizza one, the, like, the ham and cheese ones, the, like, the, the Lean Pockets, the one with fewer calories, the ones with burger meat in them, and, like, the ones with different types of cheese. Like, I don't know why. Uh, I just really like these Hot Pockets. The one with meatballs. Like, I don't know why I like Hot Pockets so much. Like I said, it's probably because I have, like, no taste buds. Like, I have poor taste in food. But it's just, like... It's just, I like Hot Pockets, okay? Speaking of food, um, my next unpopular opinion is that I don't like tomatoes. <laughs> um, tomatoes taste gross by themselves. The thing is that I like sauce, I like chips and salsa, I like, tim I like the sauce for my spaghetti, I even like putting the sauce on my tacos, but I don't like tomatoes, like, like, just the standard tomatoes, like, I never put tomatoes on, like, my burgers or in my tacos, or, like, anything, it just, the regular pure tomatoes are, just, I mean, I like ketchup, too, just, for some reason, I don't like just plain old tomatoes. I never had for some reason, and I legit cannot explain why. And another one of my unpopular opinions is, let's get this guy out of here, a puppet. Yeah. Another one of them is that I think shopping in real life is better than online shopping. Like, I feel like, like, I mean, I get it, like. It's more convenient to, like, get on your computer or your phone and just go to Amazon or eBay to look something up and get it for a reasonable price and get it a few days later. 
Again, it's more convenient. You don't have to leave your house. You don't have to get ready. You can just do it in a few minutes. Like, that part is great. Like, the problem that I think is that, um, you can't tell whether or not it's like, if it's in good condition until it, it arrives. Then, specifically, like, say, say if you're getting like a, um, like a good old figurine, like a bobblehead or something like that. Like, say if it's like, like say like, it's missing something or like, it's like, looks like it's about to break or whatever. And it looks fine in the picture. It just like, well. See, if you get it like at a store, fresh in the box, you know that it'll be great and it will last a while. Um, see, also, when you're clothes shopping, like, online, I feel like it's best to just do it in person because, well, you'll never truly know if it will fit you or not. Like, I mean, sure, it'll be your size, but sometimes for me, like, I'm a large and extra large, but sometimes the large feels more like a medium, so I'll have to get the extra large. Like, that's just me. Oh, and also, when you shop online, like, you don't get it that day. Like, like when you shop in person, you get it that day, and it feels good. It feels really good. And my last unpopular opinion for the day is that I think physical media is better than streaming services. Let me explain. Now, with a streaming service, it's cool, like... All these different shows that oh, are in access for you whenever you want to watch them. For a while. Eventually, they're going to go away. Like, say, um... Say, like, um... Now, if Netflix had Looney Tunes, Sesame Street, and the Batman movies... They took them all away so that Warner Brothers can put them on HBO Max. On, um, same with Doctor Who. Now, say if you... Say if you don't want to pay $15 a month for HBO Max, then, well, you're screwed. You won't really get the chance to watch these shows unless you got the DVDs. But yeah. Uh-huh. Cool. And your collection will always be your collection. Like, you won't have to worry that it, the DVDs will be taken away or that, say, like, stuff like that. And you don't have to worry about, like, how long it will be there. Like, once you buy a DVD, like, it's pretty much yours forever until... A, you want to get rid of it, or B, someone just flat out steals it. But the odds of that happening are pretty low. I mean, for me at least. Like, although, I mean, I, that, that's just my opinion. I mean, like, for me, I, I just freaking, I still, to this day, love collecting fiscal media, like, like, this Pee Wee Herman, the Pee Wee's Playoffs DVD set, and the Doctor Who, I actually recently got for Christmas. And, uh, just to let you know, I got this Saturday Night Live DVD, like, like, a couple weeks before I got Hulu, which, to be honest, is when I actually started to watch Saturday Night Live, but when you don't have access, but to be fair, the Saturday Night Live DVDs aren't very easy to come across, so... Yeah, if I if that makes me hypocritical, then don't judge me. But yeah, I think that physical media is like can be better than streaming services. And yeah, you're in the mood for something, you don't have to constantly look for a different streaming service. You and if you own it. On DVD or Blu-ray, 
or 4K, whatever, it will always know that like you can you can go ahead and um, oh my God, it's stuck. you go ahead and pop the DVD in and just enjoy yourself. Oh. So those are my unpopular opinions. Um, do you agree with any of my opinions on here? Like, what are some of your unpopular opinions? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. And, um, it, just to let you know, um, the DVD Master Race strikes again. Yeah, uh, thing that happened on Disney Plus, where they removed the Home Alone movies and the Sandlot and Dr. Doolittle. I own the Home Alone movies. But the first two, which were removed from Disney Plus, so ha! Sucks to be you. Physical media for the win!